Today's video is sponsored by DraftKings. This is the best defense to use in Madden 24. It shuts down any run play. And gets instant sacks all game. So if you guys want to see what brand new defense I'm using to get results like this. <laughs> stick around after the intro. The For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Man 24 comes out next week, so I wanted to give you guys a sneak peek at the first defense I'm going to be running from day one. That is so toxic, it will probably ruin the game before it's even released. I can't technically show you guys Man 24 gameplay footage yet because EA has this no capture policy, so I'll be showing you this defense in Man 23, which is honestly not that much different anyways. The biggest difference between Man 23 and Man 24 is the effectiveness of offensive linemen. In Man 24, superstar and highly rated linemen have the ability Ability to absolutely destroy secondary players like cornerbacks and safeties in the form of huge pancake blocks that completely remove them from the play. This is by design as they really want to stop people from using the meta defenses like dollar and quarter normal all game because the speed is just overpowered and it kind of makes the game annoying. But ultimately this will make running the ball much more effective, so much so that I expect running to eventually become the meta if not the meta from day one. So with all this in mind I knew I had to find a new base defense with some size as the best defenses in Madden 23 were all based off of speed filled mostly with corners and safeties. Think dollar, quarter defenses, or even nickel packages with safeties at linebacker spots. And the defensive formation that I came up with was already one of my favorite formations to use against the run in the 3-4 odd, as these linebackers will be much more effective in run defense, but also are fast enough to get pressure on just about every play. But before I show you the plays, I first want to show you how I'm going to set up my depth chart, because this is very important. If you guys don't know by now, I am an Eagles fan, and they will probably be my most used team in Madden 24, especially because of the speed of their linebackers, which will make this defense a whole nother level of toxic. They don't have a lot of highly rated linebackers other than Hassan Reddick, who will be the MVP of this defense, but they do have a lot of cheap speed, which is lowly rated players that are very fast, and speed is all that matters to make this work, so that is perfect for this defense. Now, since I'm in Madden 24, I don't have players like Nolan Smith, but he's a 92 speed outside linebacker who will definitely be one of my starters. But since he is not here, I'm going to use another fast linebacker in his place in a guy named Kyron Johnson, who also happens to be a 92 speed as well. At the middle linebacker spot, I'm going to use Nicobe Dean, who is an 89 speed, and in Madden 24, I was using Davion Taylor, who has a 90 speed as well. The bottom line is you want your fastest linebackers at every spot, and the absolute fastest playing the outside linebacker spots, because that's where most of your pressure is going to come from. The plays that I'm using in today's video can be found in my Steelers offense with the NFL Live playbook set to on, and my multi-D defense, which will be the first ebook that I put out in Madden 24. I start this game out on offense, though, and the best offense that I found that is the most effective in Madden 24 is my gun stack wide flex offense from last year. I'm going to be focusing more on defense in this video, but I recently made a video focusing on this offense, so if you guys want to see more, I will have links in the description as well as an on-screen pop at the end of the video, so stick around for that. I read man coverage on the very first play, so I switch to the drive H wheel play, and I throw to the running back underneath for a big catch and run since the user didn't follow. He is definitely watching that better on the next play, so I switch to the Y sail play and hit the zig on the other side for another big catch and run. He switches to zone cover three on the next play, so I patiently wait for the sail route to clear the linebacker to punch it in in just three plays. That's just too easy. And now I have a chance to show you the defense, but before I do, first a quick word from today's video sponsor. Football is back, and if you play in a fantasy football league with your friends, family, or coworkers, DraftKings has the perfect game for you this year with their largest best ball contest ever. If you don't know how to play best ball, that's fine, because it's really easy. It's just like a normal fantasy football league that you might play on a computer, only this time with a $1 million top prize. So to start playing best ball, all you have to do is download the DraftKings app, sign up using code MADMONEYSHOT, enter DraftKings Best Ball $10 million contest and draft your team for the season. And that's it. That's all you have to do. Each week, you'll automatically rack up points from all of your top scorers on your team. No ads, no drops, no trades, no I should have played him instead moments. You'll just be able to sit back, relax, and enjoy the fantasy football action without the need to ever manage your team. And the best part is, if you sign up now using my promo code MADMONEYSHOT, you will get your first $10 entry back in DK dollars. So what are you waiting for? Head to the DraftKings app and sign up with code MADMONEYSHOT and start playing best ball today, only on DraftKings with code MADMONEYSHOT.
Now, before I get into the plays, the first thing you have to do for this scheme to work is to set up your coaching adjustments. I'm going to use the same coaching adjustments that I always use. I'm going to set my zone coverage to match, my curl flats to 15, my flats to 5, my cornerback matchups to overall, and my ball in the air defense to play ball. But this time, I'm going to add a new one by setting my auto alignment to base, which is something that I never started to do until I started using this defense. This is meant to hide my coverage pre-snap as the defense will come out in the same cover 4 shell every single play, giving my opponent no way to read my defense or to set up a play against it. When it comes to my audible plays, the only two plays that I'm going to use are going to be the pinch buck zero and the cover four drop, not the cover four quarters, as this defense is much worse in Madden 24 against the run and pass. You are trash! But I will go over that in a minute. Both of these defenses are very good against the run and pass for different reasons, but the cover four drop is much more versatile as I can run this play two different ways. The setup to both of these plays are pretty much the same as far as your opponent can tell. Since all I'm going to do is pinch the entire defense by pressing the RB or the R1 button and down on the left stick. This adjustment will close up all the run lanes inside and bring the entire defense into the box versus the run, but it will also get the outside linebackers in faster when I blitz, making this the most important adjustment to make on every single play. Now, there are several reasons I chose cover for drop over cover for match. Number one, cover for match principles were absolutely broken in the beta and were easily glitched out, like badly, to the point where players on simple streaks would get completely forgotten and left uncovered for for easy scores. Do not use this defense until it is patched. While cover for drop was one of the hardest defenses in the beta to beat deep for a one play touchdown. Not to mention that cover for drop is also better against the run. You might have heard me say that cover for drop and match were the best run defenses in the game because the safeties will react to the run first, making them act like extra linebackers in run support, almost looking like a nine man run commit. But something that I noticed in the beta is that cover for match doesn't do this anymore for some reason, while cover for drop still does, making this the better defense in every way. My opponent smartly calls a hurry up though on the next play, and I switch to the pinch bug zero. I do get to pinch my defense, but he hikes the ball before I get to do any additional setups required, resulting in a one play touchdown. And this is my fault, as there are several more steps to do to this setup that I just didn't do. Damn it! And I will show you how to stop this on the very next series. Back on offense, I catch him in a man zero blitz as well, so I go to my drive H wheel again, only this time I'm not throwing to the running back, as I put the X route on a streak. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> Kurt, go! What? For what should have been a one-play touchdown, but I get tripped up, so I call a hurry up and hit the running back out of the backfield one more time for an easy walk-in touchdown to take the lead back. Back on defense, my opponent is in the exact same formation, but I learned my lesson, which is to say I'm not going to be as lazy this time and try to be a little bit faster on the sticks to do the full setup. After pinching the defense, you always have to walk back any cornerbacks that are out wide on receivers. You don't have to make this adjustment against receivers that are in tight. Think like gun tight formations and stuff like that. But you have to do it when the receivers are out wide for the exact same reason you just saw, as not doing this can get you beat deep. After that, you have a few other options when it comes to cover four. You can run it just like this, run it as is, or or you can turn up the heat and blitz all linebackers, which is what I decided to do here. And you can see this helps in both run and pass as we meet his running back at the backfield at the handoff. Setting the house like this will leave you with no coverage underneath, so you have to be aware of that as a user and try to call off any short routes. On the next play, he is aware of the pressure, so he blocks almost all of his tight ends, leaving him only one receiver and one short crossing tight end for a check down that I completely take away. Woo! On 3rd and 12, he has to throw it now, so he comes out in a shotgun look, and this defense is just as effective against shotgun as it is against single back and under center. With only 12 yards to gain, though, I switch over to the pinch buck zero because I want everyone covered, and he will probably think I'm still in the cover four, since that's all that I ran at this point. Since I know he has to pass this time, I'm going to kick up the blitz one more notch with another adjustment, and that is just simply guess pass. Doing this will make the blitz get in even faster, as it will make the rushers ignore any play actions and go straight for the quarterback. A week ago! Woo! Back on offense, I decide to play with the lead and I start running the ball against his blitz as I almost score in the very next play before going right back to that wheel route one more time to walk it in for back-to-back -back scores. Oh shit, that's just too easy! Back on defense, I decide to play cover four as all zone and I still get to stop in the backfield for a two-yard loss. Bring that ass! 
pass here, boy. He hurries me up since he's down two scores, and I figure he has to pass. So I blitz all linebackers once again and guess pass one more time. Only this time, I'm using one of the blitzing middle linebackers before I drop back into coverage on short routes, as I think this is probably the best player to use her. And nothing gets open once again as Reddick gets in for another sack to force a third and 24. From here, since I know he needs 24 yards, I'm only worried about deep routes. So I do the cover four blitz one more time, make sure my outside cornerbacks aren't too close to the line, and we almost get another sack and a pick. But instead, he completes his first pass against his defense to get back to a fourth and 10. But he probably would have been better off if he just punted. <laughs> Back on offense, he still isn't reacting to this wheel route fast enough, but he keeps me from scoring this time. From here, I'm thinking I could just do the tush push like the Eagles did a million times last year. But I get stopped on three straight plays, so I decide to go for it on fourth down. How about new? No? But at least he's backed up against his own end zone, and I'm smelling his safety now. So I go with the pinch bug zero, but the protection holds up as he gets out of danger. You sure about that? Watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. Back on offense, I think he is in man zero, but it turns out he's actually in a very aggressive cover too. So on the next play, I take the check down to get in the scoring range. From here, since he's watching the stack side receivers so closely, this will give me a chance to show my loyal watchers a brand new one play touchdown that I was saving for Madden 24 out of the fade out. That's all I have to do is motion in the B route here and put the tight end on a fade. And that's all folks. Break yourself, fool! <laughs> He tries to take one more crack at this defense, but it ends exactly how he expected it to, with sacks or hits on the quarterback causing incomplete passes on the next four plays to end the game. So that's it, that's the video. Go ahead and start practicing this overpowered defense right now so you can be ready for Madden 24, because I promise you, it's gonna ruin the game. Other than that, I have more videos popping up about the offense that I use in this gameplay. They'll also be the first offense that I start Madden 24 with on screen. So if you guys wanna get a head start on that, just click the links, as I'm sure it'll help out your game. And that's it, thanks for watching, man, wish it out support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below